So we have the Embedded World 2022. Hi. Hi there. So uh, it's nice to be back in a trade show, it's right? It's so great to be back and see all my old friends from all over the place and talking to all of our sales partners and customers and everybody is so busy with all these new applications and technology is advancing so rapidly now. There's all these amazing new applications coming out, especially in the area of AI and vision and automation. So it's very, very exciting and it's good to be out here again talking to customers. Have all your partners, all your customers been very busy the last two years or are some more busy than others? You know, I guess it's a real mix because we have maybe 50 partners around the world, so it's all kinds of things are going on. But in general, everybody is seeing an increased level of application, of activity, just because the new technology is bringing all these new, uh, uh, making all these new applications possible, you know? Nice. And uh, what is the latest cool stuff you're talking about here, the embedded world? So, uh, well, we have uh, we have several new things we're talking about here. This this presentation here is kind of doing a quick overview of, of our five newest products. So we have uh, a new rugged system here, which is really excellent. I'll show you this in a moment. This rugged system is excellent for uh, quick turn, quick customization. So it eliminates a lot of the problems with rugged systems, which is all the custom design. So it makes it much easier to and a faster and lower cost to develop a custom rugged system for vehicles or military, whatever. Then we have uh, new rugged SPCs for standard industrial applications. So this one is uh, 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 Apollo Lake with, with uh, PCIe 104 and rugged design. Uh, then we have here uh, Ethernet switching. This is a very big product line for us. So Ethernet switching is used everywhere. All these vehicles, whether it's commercial or industrial, uh, you know, uh, UAVs, uh, uh, submarines, they're all using Ethernet switching now. So we have uh, quite a successful line of Ethernet switches. And then this is uh, the latest NVIDIA Jetson carrier for the new Jetson Orin, the high performance uh, 275 tops module that's coming out later uh, next month actually. So we have a range of products in these different market segments. That's why we say we cover the spectrum of embedded because we have these four categories, Ethernet switches, we have rugged SPCs, we have NVIDIA Jetson, and we have rugged uh, systems. So which one do you want to start with? So one I show you my new rugged system here. This is called Geode. <coughs> Geode is rock hard. But precious on the inside. I'm just going close to the mic. Oh, okay. So geode is, uh, is hard on the outside and precious and valuable on the inside, right? And so this is our geode system. This is designed for rugged applications. So it's a very rugged sealed enclosure. It's aluminum with the mill 3899 connectors. It's all sealed construction. You can see here we have uh, gaskets and everything is sealed for IP67. Uh, what's special about this product is that it's flexible in every possible dimension and it eliminates a lot of custom design. So first we have a Com Express carrier board, so you have a choice of CPU. So it's, I'm not sure if you can see all these cables that you normally would have in a rugged system. Everything is PCB mounted and the PCB is connected directly to the main PCB. So there are no cables inside except for this one special cable. So this makes it much faster and easier to customize the product and to build it because there's no custom cable design. That's the number one issue in rugged systems is to design the custom cables. So they eliminate all that work, it makes it much faster and easier. And it's pre-expanded, so we have expansion connectors already built in so that if you need to add more I.O., which everybody does, you can do it without having to redesign anything. All you have to do is one low-cost cable from the I.O. board to the connector board and you're all set. So we call it quick ship custom rugged systems. So that's a really nice thing. That's supposed to change the, um, change the whole market for rugged systems because it eliminates all the custom design. So that's our new product. How do you come up here. with that? Uh, you know, just listening to customers and experience building systems, every time we build a rugged system, there's this huge ordeal about having to design the cabling and build the cabling and route the cabling inside the enclosure and design the enclosure to fit it. For example, this one over here. So here is a, here's a custom system that we just finished building for a customer. This is going on a vehicle. So this system required all kinds of redesign and cabling and connectors and everything. It was a big ordeal. So the idea behind the idea behind uh, the new system is that all of this goes away and simply just plug the boards in and you're done. Pick the boards you want, plug them in, and you're finished. No, no. You have design. experience with rugged. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we've been since day one. We've been building products that are rugged. All of our boards. Um, <laughs> let's see. So here's the. Okay, so here's a rugged SPC. So in this board, all the connectors are latching, positive latching. So you plug the cable in and it stays in. It's not just friction lock, but it's locked in so that it won't come out from vibration. Then the PCB is thicker uh, so that it helps keep it from vibrating, which is very, very important because in a high vibration environment, you will get these standing waves and flexing of the circuit board. And so if you keep the board rigid, then the frequency of that flexing goes up and out of the range of the vibration. So it keeps the solder joints more reliable. So it's very important to have a thicker PCB. And finally, we have a, uh, a mounting plate, which is also serves as the conduction cooling plate. That's the backside. 
Uh, and then this is, if you look at a side view in there, you can see the, the, the processor and other chips are directly connected to the, um, uh, to the thermal, to the, to the base plate. So it helps conduct the heat away so that inside of the box stays cooler, all the electronics stay cooler, and you get increased reliability. So these boards are designed specifically for rugged vehicle applications. Nice. So rugged, we've been doing that for quite a long time. And so the natural extension is to go from a rugged board to a rugged system. Uh, and we've had good success with this. So you got a lot of interest at this show? Yes, quite a bit, right, on all the different product lines. Um, our, another very popular product line of ours is our NVIDIA Jetson product line. This is a, a, a carrier board for the uh, Xavier, which until now was the highest uh, performing uh, Jetson, Jetson product. This is a 100, um, uh, I guess it's 30, 32 tops tera operations per second. They have a new product coming out called Orin, which is the big news from NVIDIA. And Orin will be coming out in uh, July next month. And Orin is up to 275 tops, so it's a huge increase in performance. And we have a new carrier board being developed for Orin called Osborne, as in Ozzy Osborne, and that will be coming out in September, and that will support all the high end performance of the uh, Orin module. Nice, so you uh, many years working with NVIDIA. We've worked with NVIDIA for about three years now, I guess, and so we have a pretty successful market. In fact, NVIDIA, the business is growing so rapidly that it's gone from zero to 50% of our business in just three years. So it's, it's really, really popular because the higher performance enables all these new applications that no one could do before. And because the high performance, it also all things like uh, image processing or machine learning or robotics, language processing, all these kinds of applications that, that uh, people had a hard time doing, they wanted to do, but didn't have any technology to do. Now they're all becoming available. And, and the more, for example, just today we had a customer that what they want to do is they want to run a fiber optic line along a pipeline and they have some special high computation algorithms that they can use to detect vibration uh, in the fiber optic cable. And so they can use that to detect if there's any damage or tampering or digging near a pipeline, they can go and investigate and find the problem or fix it before it becomes a problem. So that's a very interesting application that was just not possible to do until the high performance GPU technology came out. So it's an example of just all these new applications that are coming out and that's part of the reason that we see this big growth in the market. Uh, there's a question right here. Please ask about managed switches. You do stuff? We have a very popular line also of Ethernet switches, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, a lot of electronics, a lot of vehicles now have so many electronics inside of them that they need a way to connect them all together, and Ethernet switching is the kind of standard interface. Whereas it used to be serial ports, maybe USB, now people are using Ethernet. So we have a very successful line of Ethernet switches, and that's what we have here. So uh, this product is very popular. This is a this is called Epsilon 8130. This is an eight port managed switch. Again, we have rugged board, we have um, uh, latching connectors, wide temperature, and so on. Built into the, the board is a, a, a web interface that provides all the ma web management of the software, just like you have at a home router. All the same features, VPN, and so on, all these kinds of things are available, VLAN, are available inside the switch. So this is very popular. And um, then we have uh, here a switch module. So this is very interesting because what this does is it takes all the technology of the Ethernet switch, including the hardware and the software, and puts it onto one small module that you can then plug onto your own carrier board. So what you can do is you can make your own shape carrier board. It can look like this, or it can look like this, or it could be like whatever you want it to be, whatever connectors you want, or whatever shape you want, you can do that yourself. That's very easy, light technology. All the heavy lifting is done by our module. So it really uh, accelerates the development of, of custom Ethernet switches. So this is a very popular product for us, and it's very it's increasingly used in vehicle applications as well because of the small size. So you've done a lot of Ethernet switching? Ethernet switching is our second largest product line after NVIDIA, yes. Right. And what's your third? Uh, the third will be our rugged, rugged SPCs. And I think I mentioned a moment ago, I, had, I showed you the Saturn board here. And so this is a brand new uh, carrier board for us. So now for rugged boards, what we are doing is instead of, instead of putting the processor directly on the board, as you saw before, we're making a Com Express carrier board. So this carrier board has all the I.O. and the same thing, the latching connectors, the thicker PCB, and so on. But now what it has is a Com Express connectors so that you can plug a Com Express module on so one carrier board can be used for a wide number of, of uh, processors. This is actually very good because, say a customer designs an application and they use this board in it, right? So this board is called Jasper, by the way. 
So they said they make a, a, a product, they put Jasper inside their product, right? All of a sudden there's a new Intel processor or a new AMD processor with higher performance or some special feature and they want to use that processor. So they can switch to it instantly because as soon as a new processor comes out, all these companies that are making uh, uh, boards, they come out with a com that uses that processor before they come out with an SPC. So the first generation product using a new processor is always a com. So you get instant access to the latest generation processors and all you have to do is plug a new com onto to the back side of here, and you're up and running. So no, no redesign, no cabling, no enclosure changes, nothing at all. Everything stays exactly the same. All we do is plug a new COM in, and now you have the new processor, and it also extends the lifetime of your product. In case the processor goes obsolete, you just plug a new processor in, and you have another five years of life cycle. How, how many people do you have in the company? Small. <laughs> so we are uh, under 20 people right now. But we are largely outsourced done? because we are outsourced. So we actually have dropped our, our, our employee base by a factor of three over the past 10 years simply by outsourcing. So we outsource all the manufacturing, we outsource most of the engineering, um, and so on, So and a lot of logistics. And so by doing that, we maintain focus on the core uh, value-adding capabilities. Because to me, the philosophy of business is outsource everything non-essential. So there's no point in hiring all these people that are doing generic work. You should outsource all that to someone who does it better and focus on the core added value of the engineering and the solution building and things like that. And customer also relations, customizing? Yes, of course, right. On the customer relations are you know, pre and post sale, all that together. So that's the whole important thing. So that's why we focus on business development and on product development and on business strategy versus on how to build the best factory. And um, it's an awesome world, the embedded world, right? So I love it because the applications, so ideas I know, the applications are unbelievable and every single day I hear an application that I've never, never heard of before. Every single day I hear about new applications uh, and, and new industries that uh, oh, never thought of existed, but uh, they do. And so we like to say we cover the spectrum of embedded computing Cover the spectrum. Here. And uh, so that, that's really meant to say that we cover different product lines. So we have, um, you know, we have uh, video jets and business switches, comms. Com carriers, web SPCs, and contact systems. Those are the things that we've been talking about here. And um, here's a poster about the Jetson. This is our mascot for Jetson. This is supposed to be a, a, a robot or a, you know an Android kind of character. It is a robot, right? I uh, no, it's a real person just with a purple. Ah, okay. yeah. uh, actually, the original image was blue, and we modified it to be purple. But anyway, so this is our purple lady. We call her, and, and uh, she's our mascot for all the Nvidia Jetson products. This is an example of a rocket system. So we actually have, this is the geode system that you saw a moment ago. Um, we actually have a rugged switch uh, on this vehicle. It's a US Navy hovercraft. And so this, they use six of our switches on this rugged, on this vehicle. So that's a very big successful win project for us. Nice. That's so awesome. we cover the range of all different kinds of things. We do low end industrial, we do high end uh, rugged systems. And, now, uh, over here, what we're doing. Can you stand doing, behind there? Okay. Yeah. What are we looking at here? So what we're doing here is we are showing uh, NVIDIA Jetson. This is more of an image processing application. So here we have a couple of demos. Once the demo here is uh, there are three cameras. <laughs> three cameras together are offering 180, field, 180 degree field of view. And three images are being stitched together in software in real time. So you get a large, uh, wide range image. And you can use it for monitoring or security or, like for example, watching a sports game. You can get a picture of the whole field on it and then you can zoom around to follow the action, things like that. So that's, that's one application. This application over here is another carrier board, and this is a GMSL camera. GMSL is a, a technology that is used to conduct high-speed signals over long distances. So uh, this is the, uh, the uh, pretty much an industry standard now. This, cape, this camera is a rugged camera. It's meant for vehicles, so you could have the camera located far away from the electronics. So on a bus, for example, you can have cameras all over the bus to watch people or watch outside for safety or things like that. And you can all be tied into um, to the uh, Justin carrier, which can then be used to do things like detect people or detect hazards or whatever it's going to be. So two different applications. And for, uh, uh, can, uh, without revealing any secrets, uh, can you mention some really cool projects that happened in the last couple of years? Or uh, that sure. are going to Actually, happen. we have tons of applications. In fact, they're all right here. So here's one. So this is a robot made by the U.S. military or for the U.S. military. It uses our Ethernet switch to connect all the different all the different uh, sensors together. This is a very very big program for the U.S. military. This one is a a, a police robot. This is used. It's just basically like a like a wheel vehicle. Demonstrations. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> it's for security in places like where there's a lot of car thefts or something like that, or whatever, or break-ins, you know, which is happening more and more in parts of, of the world. It's real? This is a real product. Yes, and they use our NVIDIA Justin. It must Justin. be so much fun to see one of those. It's, it's hilarious. At first it was kind of freaky, but now it's like, we need it. <laughs> yeah. and then, I okay. want those in my neighborhood. See, exactly. This one is interesting. This is um, this NVIDIA Jetson with camera is being used in r mushroom farming. The camera and the AI can detect which mushrooms are ready for picking. And then they control the robot arm to go and pick the mushroom. And then they bring it over to the front here, and another thing comes by and slices the bottom off, and then it drops it into the package. So it's picking, cleaning, packaging all together in one it's step. It's mushroom? Mushroom harvesting. And this, harvesting. One, and this one is being used for, this is a very big application. Anybody that buys prescription drugs by mail, the fulfillment is being done by a company that is using our board to dispense the medication and to count the pills, identify the pills to make sure you get the right prescription. So they, they count a lot of pills? So you get the right pills every time thanks to Diamond Systems. You don't get overdosed. Yes. See? And if there's a wrong pill, it will be your fault? Uh, no, we okay. are not liable. <laughs> So those are some applications. Here's mining. Here is an application where they they use a, a, a um, computing to identify the rock underneath the surface. They can identify where the minerals are and like if there's any subsurface uh, fractures or weakness in the rock for mining. Here's a here's a an underwater vehicle. Here's a railroad locomotive using our boards for the dashboard. So the dashboard has all kinds of electronics in it, and they use our I/O for that. So all kinds of applications here, like an EV charger. Okay, and then. Uh, intelligence signage like Minority Report, like the movie, where it identifies people and can target advertising to them. This is all being powered by our NVIDIA Jetson products. Is that real? That's a real advertising product. Advertising targeted has in a, the streets? Yes. That's and really if, you, if you wear the glasses, you see the real? Oh, I don't know about the, gla the glasses. The glasses are somebody else. We don't have the glasses. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but I think I think this is more uh, currently and certainly like people counting. So they can sell advertising based upon the number of people in the area and the time of day. So like during rush hour, you show certain ads. During lower traffic periods, you show different ads. I think that's what it's for right now. But it's only a matter of time before it starts identifying people and then targeting them for specific advertising. Like we noticed you were just over at this store. Would you like to go back and buy the special thing that you didn't see before? That could very well be uh, the advertising that pops up on here. So you know the cool. days; those those days are coming, where where you are being tracked. I already heard that in the USA already, the average person is seen by 200 cameras a day. It's a pretty amazing number, and it's probably going to keep increasing from there. Nice. You're so. being seen by at least two cameras right now. <laughs> right there, right there. Cool. All right. So thanks a lot for showing the Better World 2022. All right. And thank you. Again. What what kind of events do you go to? Other. You know, we go to general purpose events mostly uh, that work like like this mostly general purpose event. We US? have done a few. Yeah, we do a couple of international shows through our partners. So we will be going to a military show in uh, September here in Europe. And then um, possibly another one uh, uh, next spring. But anyway, so we do a few shows a year, not that many. Well, we'll cool. do more now than we did last couple of years, right? Yeah. But um, most of we go to general purpose shows. Cool. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you.